Right, 187 for the Mumbai Indians against Rajasthan Royals. How good is that score looking at halftime on ESPN Rick for Match Day T20? We'll have Sean Tate and Deep Das Gupta telling us in just a second. Quinton de Kock with his best score of this year's IPL. Uh, pretty well uh, well compiled, 81 of 52 for the South African keeper. Rohit Sharma Nim, she had a partnership of 96 for the opening wicket. Uh, Jofra Archer against, again amongst the wickets and a much improved performance by Rajasthan towards the death in comparison to the numbers that we showed yet. Still good runs. Let's uh, take your questions and suggestions through. So start putting them in. I'll fire them to Deep and Teddy. Okay, 187. How's that score for you? Uh, I mean, it's a decent score, but obviously 15 runs short. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the way they started off, uh, they got 100, I mean, 100 in the 11th over. Yeah. And you're looking at 200 from there on with uh, 9 wickets or almost 10 wickets in hand. 9 wickets, rather, in hand. And uh, yeah, so was that uh, was that span of 3 overs in between when Pollard came in uh, yeah. where I thought yeah. they lost the momentum kind of a thing. Yeah, they were 97 for one at the end of 11 overs yeah. uh, and say 117 for one at the end of 13. So you think 7 overs from there, 39 wickets in hand. You were going at what, 11 and over, 12 and over, that calculates to, like Deep says, 15 short. Would you agree with that? Oh yeah, I agree with 15 runs short. I'd, I'd say that that score is a good score, but just from where they were. So mm. at the start of the day, you go, okay, that's around 190, it's probably around par-ish, mm. maybe. Um, but yeah, just, just from where they were, I suppose you just expect them to go on and get a few more. Okay, uh, start putting your your questions through. Uh, now let's, let's have, uh, I knew this would come up, uh, Pollard. He's just played the innings of his life last game and won Mumbai a game. But Ankit Kumar says it should be understood that Pollard is not the ideal player at number four on slower tracks. Now, firstly, is this a slower track, Deep? Yeah, definitely slower track. Hmm. I so mean, was 4 that a, p.m. slower yeah. track, yes. Is that a bad call then, Pollard at four at that stage? The whole... Uh, I, I don't think Pollard at four was a bad call per se, but I understand what, where he's coming from. I think he's got a point there, a very valid point. On a mm -hmm. slowish track, Pollard maybe not. Uh, but having said that, uh, then at least the approach needs to be different. The yeah, intent was there. a lot of blocking there. from Pollard. Exactly. I can understand Pollard uh, trying to hit but not being able to connect. That's a different issue, but the intent wasn't there. I can understand you want to take some time and finish off uh, in style. But then time doesn't does not mean dot balls. Time mm -hmm. means take take that single, yeah. get Decock on strike who was going great guns. He was going at 160 strike rate. Take a single, get him on and you take your time. Yeah, Karki Arjun says 20 runs short um, and uh, Ankit also saying am I short of runs. Maybe Hardik above Pollard against yeah. the spin at that point would have been better. I would have said Hardik, swap Hardik and, and Polly in those positions. 100%. Definitely. I agree with that completely. Uh, we mentioned that off air. Yeah, as and well. this is not something we're saying in hindsight. We, yeah. we genuinely no, no, thought it, we said it. Yeah. You know, remember we were talking about it, and straight away it was like Hardik should go in next. Um, and then yeah, Pollard could have done his job where where Hardik did that. Yeah. I mean, you can even put, you can even think about Krunal. Yeah. As well at that time. But I can understand why not Krunal because you already had a left hander. So, but yeah, Hardik True. fair point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chris Pinjera says, what makes it hard to read or pick Jofra Archer? Teddy. Um, oh look, he's just a good bowler, but I think he's he's, he's size. So he comes from a, he comes. He's very tall. Got, he's got a tall action, um, and he's deceptively quick. Hmm. You know, it's hard to read what sort of pace is going to come out because he, it's so effortless the way he bowls. Um, so he's, he's slower ball, he's bouncer, and he's length ball. It seems like he holds the same intensity and the same action through the crease. Mm -hmm. Anything on Jofra that you think uh, would be hard for him? Obviously, his action, he's got a very high arm action, so he also gets some uh, extra bounce, maybe three, four inches uh, more than any other bowler. Uh, the other important thing is the difference in pace between his slower and the fast. I mean, yeah. the, his quick balls are 140 plus, the slower would be 115, 120. Suddenly, as a batsman, the bat speed needs to drastically uh, change. Hmm. Uh, so that makes a huge difference. Sure. Arvind Tiwari says Mumbai need to score 200 on this type of track. Rajasthan could very yeah. well chase this. No matter how True. good your bowling attack, uh, but if one player comes off for Rajasthan, they could True. very well chase this. So, uh, Nikhil Ryan says Butler's innings could very well give Rajasthan a much wanted win here. Uh, Sunny Nazar says Yuvi should have been there. Do you agree with that? Yuvraj Singh, Ishan Kishan is. Listen, not, uh, let's face it. Last game, uh, Sidesh Lad came in mm -hmm. when Rohit wasn't playing. Uh, before that, Ishan Kishan came in yeah. uh, in place of. Uh, UV. So I think as far as MI is concerned, they've got, I mean, uh, it's very clear what they want. Okay, uh, Pollard could not accelerate and that's why Mumbai are down 20 runs, says yeah. Saad Khan. Now, uh, Timiri Perumal Raj Manohar is still saying, uh, is asking if this is sufficient. We, we've made, uh, both our experts believe that it is at least 15 or so short. 
Uh, Ankit says, uh, Mumbai Indians got it wrong by sending Surya Kumar Yadav with three. They could have sent either Hardik or Krunal above everyone else. In fact, that's what we were talking about. Mm. Mid, uh, mid show or, or, you know, we yeah. were doing that uh, piece mid innings there. Mid innings, yeah. yeah. We were doing that thing. And, and in fact, all three of us agreed that it would be either Hardik or Polak yeah. coming mm. in at number three after that kind of a start. But yeah, it was kind of surprising getting Su uh, uh, seeing Surya in. Okay, uh, Saad Khan with that uh, observation on Hardik Pandya, he goes deep into the crease and he's mm. been hitting sixes somehow. It looks like the kind of thing, Teddy, that he's practicing. Yeah, obviously that's where he bats. He's not, he's not, you know, obviously a lot of his runs are going to come at the death because that's where he bats. Yeah, so but deep in the crease is what he's saying. The oh, deep, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I mean, he does crease, that yeah. well. We've seen it on social media. I think they yeah, post yeah, a few videos. Um, yeah, he does it well. He stands, the best thing about the way he stands still. He's so still, he keeps his head still. He has a great base um, and he gets his strength from, even though he's a slight built, slightly built guy, he gets his strength from his strong base. So. Mm. That's the kind of thing I know we've been seeing him promote on yeah. social media, but it yeah. takes some skill to master too. He's Absolutely, he's, and, and, and he's backing himself. Yeah. So he's saying, hey, listen, I'm ready. You know what I'm going to do. You know I'm going to go over mid wicket or mid on and all. You get it wrong and I'm going to take you out of the park. So, uh, yeah, I mean, as a bowler, I'm sure uh, you see that and you look at it and you say, listen, you know what, maybe I... Let me just bowl outside off stump. Let me stay away from yeah. the arc. Yeah, you want to stay away from his arc for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why I think even an ad cut at the end there, he should have stuck to his guns with the short, sure. short, short length stuff. I know, yeah. talk about Yorkers, but obviously they're not confident hitting the Yorkers. So that back of length stuff, even Archer was bowling that to Pollard. That was probably the go on this wicket. And again, you, if you get hit, you know, one of the balls, even you were saying, Ronick, was unlucky. He bowled mm. a short of a length, he got hit for four, but then he changed it all. Yeah. Rather than just sticking to it and go, well, I'll back it in. Oh, I'll just lob a little slow ball in the slot, you know, trying yeah. to change too much. So, mm. tough score. Yeah, it, it's, it's actually funny, I mean, how a lot of bowlers and captains look at a sh at the outcome, if it's a boundary or a six, and not look yeah. at it whether it's off the edge yeah. or was he comfortable Absolutely. playing that shot. You just look at, mm. oh, he went for four, that's not the right Better end, the right it. ball. Absolutely. Okay. Dinesh yeah. Nair says, uh, Shreyas Kopal giving away just 21 in his four overs. Is the ball going to stop in the second innings for the spinners as well, Deep? It, it will. In fact, spinners, I, I believe, would get more purchase of this surface mm. in the second inning. So that would make things a little more difficult for the Rajasthan batsman. Uh, while somebody mentioned about Josh Butler, yes, but somewhere I also think Ajinkya needs to play an important role. He knows yeah. Mankadit. This is his home ground. Uh, he knows how to play spin. Mm -hmm. So, yes, while Josh Butler is very important to get that momentum going, but if you have to chase down 187, it's not just about one person. Yeah. He can get 100. But he needs support and I think Ajinkya's uh, innings could be very, very important. Yeah. Uh, Saad Khan says, I could not see Smith in the field all day. It's almost like he's absent. Well, oh, maybe the ball, <laughs> just didn't go, the ball just didn't go anywhere near where he was fielding. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody, the opposition captain didn't storm out as well. So, for Smith to be involved in a huddle, so that didn't happen. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. What else do we have? Uh, why isn't Dickock having more of an impact as Crispin Gerrard? Could he have been more destructive? Did he slow down, perhaps, in the second half? He, I actually looked at the numbers, mm. right? Uh, that Pollard, uh, you know, partnership. Yeah. But he did not slow down. It's just that he did not get strike during that partnership. Out of that 18 deliveries, he, mm. he faced six, out of which he scored 11. I believe, out of those six deliveries and, and Pollard played those 12 yeah, deliveries and got six. I think we're going to be harsh. That's a good innings. Yeah. That's, that's a good innings. 81 of 52 balls. 155 strike rates, pretty good knock, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, MSDN Pandev, that's the name, has says Rahul Tripathi could be better if he opens with Butler. Well, already Butler and Rane have come, but if you play Tripathi, then what do you do with Rane? Yeah, that's the point. And <laughs> but uh, I mean, having said that, I think it, uh, Ajinkya needs to fire and Butler. While you need Butler's uh, explosive batting, but you also need a sane head out yeah. there, and especially against the spin. Okay, Josh Butler's there. He's played for Mumbai Indians before. He's familiar with this place. He's yeah. going to have Bumrah against him. And Bumrah's got him three times for a strike rate of 126. Mm. So that's something you need to keep in mind. Three out of four for Bumrah. Is he taking the new ball for you, either first or second over? Berendorf, yeah. we assume, will. But Bumrah with him? Yes, one over, yes. Yeah. If you have numbers like that, definitely one over. You'd go with oh, that? He's got Berendorf to go at least one to yeah. Butler if he's there. And even, even Rahana as well. So, yeah. absolutely. Predictions. Are Rajasthan going to pull this off or will Mumbai manage? Different? I think Mumbai will manage, but it's not going to be as easy as it was looking in the first five, seven overs of the game. JD? It's going to, like we said, it's going to take a, a big score from it, say Butler or Rahana, but Oh, this 50-50. Um, you think it's 50-50 at this stage? Oh, yeah. 
All right. I'll, I'll stick with, I'm going to go with Rajasthan. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. So you went 50 yeah. 50 to Rajasthan. Interesting. We'll mm. see how good Sean Tate and Deep Das Gupta's calls are looking at the end of this game. Join us for a build up to the second game, Punjab and Bangalore, as well as a review of this game at 7 30 for ESPN Rigging for Match Day 20. We'll also go live on our uh, Facebook live feed for, uh, for after the 10 hour mark to see how the innings is progressing.